The following table shows the mapping x to y. What is the rule for the mapping? This is a multiple choice question. And so you solve the question and after that we will pick the correct option. We have x to y. 0 will give us 5, 2 will give us 3, 4 gives us 1, 6 gives us negative 1 and 8 gives us negative 3. The difference between 0 and 2 is 2. The difference between 2 and 4 is 2. Between 4 and 6 is 2. And between 6 and 8 is also 2. When we come to the y values, the difference between 5 and 3 is 2. The difference between 3 and 1 is 2 between 1 and negative 1 is 2 and between negative 1 and negative 3 is also 2 because the difference between consecutive x values and consecutive y values are the same we can say that this is a linear mapping if this is a linear mapping then the rule of the mapping is of the form y is equal to ax plus b where a and b are constants we will pick two sets of values from the mapping and substitute them into the equation to find the values of a and b. I'll begin with 0 and 5. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5. When we substitute that into the equation, we are going to have y, which is 5, is equal to a times x, which is 0, plus b. a times 0 will give us 0 so you have 5 is equal to b our rule is y is equal to ax plus b and we have found out that b is 5 so it means we can replace b with 5 so you have y is equal to ax plus 5 i'll choose the next set of values x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. let's substitute that into what we have here we are going to have y, which is 3, is equal to a times x, which is 2, plus 5. a times 2 give us 2a, so we have 3 is equal to 2a plus 5. When we group like terms here, we are going to have 3 minus 5 is equal to 2a. 3 minus 5 will give us negative 2, so negative 2 is equal to 2a. I divide both sides by 2 to find a. Negative 2 divided by 2 give us negative 1. So it means a is equal to negative 1. We had y is equal to ax plus 5. And we have found out that a is negative 1. So it means we can replace a with negative 1. When we do that, we are going to have y is equal to negative 1 times x plus 5. Negative 1 times x will give us negative x. So we have y is equal to negative x plus 5. If we rearrange this, we are going to have y is equal to 5 minus x. The question tells us that x maps to y, and we have found out that y is equal to 5 minus x. So we can say that x maps to 5 minus x. So this is the rule of the mapping. When we look through the options given to us, we can see that the correct one is b. What is the rule of the mapping x maps to y in the table below? So in the table, we have been given the x values and the y values. When x is 0, y is 2. When x is 1, y is 4. When x is 2, y is 6. When x is 3, y is 8. And when x is 4, y is 10. We are going to use this information to find the rule of the mapping. This is a multiple choice question and so we will solve the question and after that we will pick the correct option. If you look at the values in the table carefully, you can see that the difference between consecutive x values is the same and the difference between consecutive y values is also the same. This means that the mapping we have here is a linear mapping. And if it's a linear mapping, then the rule is of the form y is equal to ax plus b with this we can take any two set of values in the table and substitute it into 
this equation to get the values of a and b which will in turn give us the rule of the map so let's do that i'm going to begin with 0 and 2 so when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2 i will substitute them into what we have here y is equal to ax plus b when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2 which means that 2 is equal to a times x which is 0 plus b a times 0 will give us 0 so it means that 2 is equal to b or b is equal to 2 so we have been able to find the value of b here which is 2 so our rule is now y is equal to ax plus 2 the next thing we have to do is to find the value of a to do that i'm going to select another set of values i'm going to select 1 and 4 when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 4. remember our rule is now y is equal to ax plus 2 so i'll substitute the two values we have here so that i can get the value of a when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 4 and so you have 4 is equal to a times x which is 1 plus 2 a times 1 give us a and so we have 4 is equal to a plus 2 when we group like terms we have 4 minus 2 is equal to a and so we are going to have 2 is equal to a or a is equal to 2 so we now have the value of a to be 2 we have found the value of b to be 2 and so our rule is y is equal to 2x plus 2 from the question we were told that x maps to y and we have found y to be 2x plus 2 so we can say that x maps to 2x plus 2 and this is the rule of the mapping when we look through the options we can see that the correct option is c x maps to 2x plus 2The following shows a mapping of x to y. What linear equation connects x and y? So we have the mapping here. The question says that we should find the linear equation that connects x to y, which means that this mapping is a linear mapping. We can also verify that it's a linear mapping because when you find the difference between the x values, they are all the same. And when you find the difference between the y values also they are all the same so this is a linear mapping if this is a linear mapping then it means that the rule of this mapping is given by y is equal to a x plus b where a and b are constants from the mapping we know that when x is equal to zero y is equal to negative one we can substitute this into the equation we have here to get the value of b y is equal to ax plus b and when x is equal to zero y is equal to negative one so when we substitute it here we are going to have negative one is equal to a times the x value which is zero plus b a times zero give us zero so it means that b is equal to negative one so we have found the constant b the value of b is negative one so our rule is now y is equal to ax minus 1. We picked the first one to get the value of b. Let's pick the second one to get the value of a. For the second one, when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 5. Remember, you can pick any of them. You can choose to pick the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one. doesn't matter. Here, I'm going to use the second one. When x is equal to 3, y is equal to 5. The rule is now y is equal to ax minus 1. So we will substitute x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5 here to get the value of a. This will give us 5 is equal to a times 3 minus 1. a times 3 will give us 3a. So you have 5 is equal to 3a minus 1. 
when we group like terms you have 3a is equal to 5 plus 1 which will give us 6 so 3a is equal to 6. we will divide both sides by 3 to find the value of a when we do that you have a is equal to 6 divided by 3 which will give us 2 so it means that the value of a is 2 we can now replace a here with 2. when we replace a with 2 the equation will be y is equal to 2x minus 1. So it means that the rule of this mapping or the linear equation that connects x and y is y is equal to 2x minus 1. What is the rule of the mapping below? So we have the mapping here, x maps to y, 0 maps to 2, 1 maps to 5, 2 maps to 8, 3 maps to 11, 4 maps to 14, and 5 maps to 17. If we check the mapping very carefully, we can see that the difference between the x values are the same. The difference between 0 and 1 is 1, the difference between 1 and 2 is 1, the difference between 2 and 3 is 1, between 3 and 4 is 1, and between 4 and 5 is 1. In the same way, the difference between the y values are also the same. The difference between 2 and 5 is 3. The difference between 5 and 8 is 3. The difference between 8 and 11 is 3. The difference between 11 and 14 is 3. And between 14 and 17 is also 3. Because the difference between the x and y values are the same, it means that this mapping is a linear mapping. A linear mapping. Linear mapping. The rule of a linear mapping is of the form y is equal to ax plus b, where a and b are constants. So the rule of this mapping will be of the form y is equal to ax plus b. The constants we are going to look for are a and b. We can pick any two pairs of x and y values here to get the value of a and b. Let's consider the first one. For the first one, when x is equal to 0, so when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. Let's substitute this into the rule we have here. The rule is y is equal to ax plus b. When x is 0, y is 2. So it means that when y is equal to 2, our x here will be 0. So we have a times 0 plus b. a times 0 will give us 0. And so b is equal to 2. So our rule is now y is equal to ax plus 2. We need to get the value of a. To do that, we will pick another pair. Let's pick the second one, 1 and 5. It means that when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 5. Remember that our rule is now y is equal to ax plus 2. So when y is equal to 5, x is now 1. So we have a times 1 plus 2. This will give us 5 is equal to a times 1 will give us a plus 2. When we simplify this, we have a is equal to 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 will give us 3. So the value of a is 3. We now have the value of a. So it means our rule is y is equal to the value of a is 3. So 3x plus 2. So the rule of the mapping given to us is y is equal to 3x plus 2.